Good morning, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. I want to thank you so much for subscribing, for all of your prayers and your kind comments. Um, this today is uh, one of these words, um, <laughs> quite frankly, I don't like to give, amen, uh, but I have to be obedient. I know uh, in my spirit that when these words come, they're harder for me to speak, um, but uh, God would have me be obedient. Now, I would uh, say that this is not for everybody, that's for sure. This is not for everybody on this channel, <clears throat> excuse me, but there are some that this word is for, and I'm going to read just parts of Proverbs about God's instruction on wisdom for us, Proverbs 4, and I'm going to read 11 through 15. But if this word bears witness with you folks, uh, with, with certain of uh, individuals on this channel, then please go to Proverbs 4 and read the whole word and then listen to this word from the Lord again. Amen. Because it's not for everybody. And these are the harder words for me to give, but I, I need to be obedient. The Lord has written these through my pens and uh, through my pen. And I want to be obedient to him. Amen. And if it isn't for everybody, it's going to be very important to those that he's speaking directly to. Amen. So Proverbs 4, and I'm going to read 11 through 15, but please read the whole uh, chapter if this is for you. And God is saying, I have directed you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in an upright path. When you walk, your steps will not be impeded and you will run and you will not stumble. Take a hold of the instructions. Do not let go. Guard her for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked. Do not proceed in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Do not pass it by. Turn away from it and uh, pass on. Amen. So I'm going to go ahead and read this word. And once again, I believe with all my heart, it's of course not for everybody, but uh, some, some. Amen. So I'm going to entitle it Still Holding On. Amen. My children, empty yourselves out. This word uh, this world has nothing to offer my lambs. I know you see, and yet you hold on to the things of this world. My children, can you not see the world sliding quickly downward? Why do you still cling to the things of this world? You know my word. I've spoken of things to come. You sit at my feet. Yet when I speak, you close your ears. Time is short. It's time to release all to me. So that's indicating to me that there are certain things of this world you're hanging on to. Amen. It's time to release all to me. My children, let go. Uh, why do you fear? I've taken you this far in my love. My spirit moves within you, yet you still hold on. These things will burn. You know these things keep you from me, and yet you hold on. Oh, my child, where's your faith? Fear of letting go is an attack from the enemy. Fear of letting go is an attack from the enemy. Even now as I speak, you know in your spirit, it is my spirit speaking. Amen. You could be doing my work and growing in me. I long to take you deeper. The enemy has been tricking you. These things you are not letting go of are keeping you from me. Sometimes the enemy has been subtle, but child, nonetheless, you have been away from my spirit. My child, open your eyes today. You know my voice. Turn away from the world and repent. You will be rewarded in the end. Your peace will be renewed. You will not continue to grow in me. Others will see, those around you will see more of me. Child, this is just not only for you to understand what you do affects others. This is important. Oh, my lamb, I love you. I'm longing for more of you. I still have so much for you, my love. Come unto me 
let go of what I speak of. I love you so. So um, what he's saying is once you release whatever it is you're holding on to, others around you are going to see it. This word is not for you, but for others around you. Amen. So I'm going to read it one more time right through. Uh, it's an important word for some of you. Amen. Still holding on. My child, my children, empty yourselves out. This world has nothing to offer. My lambs, I know you see, and yet you hold on to the things of this world. My children, can you not see the world sliding quickly downward? Why do you still cling to the things of this world? You know my word. I have spoken of things to come. You sit at my feet. Yet when I speak, you close your ears. Time is so short. It's time to release all to me. My child, let go. Why do you fear? Uh, I've taken you this far in my love. My spirit moves within you, yet you still hold on. These things will burn. You know these things keep you from me, and yet you hold on. Oh, my child, where is your faith? Fear of letting go is an attack from the enemy. Fear of letting go is an attack from the enemy. Even now as I speak, you know in your spirit, it is my spirit speaking. Child, waste no more time. You could be doing my work. Grow in me. I long to take you deeper. The enemy has been tricking you. These things you are not letting go of are keeping you from me. Sometimes the enemy has been subtle. But child, nonetheless, you have been away from my spirit. My child, open your eyes today. You know my voice. Turn away from the world and repent. You will be rewarded in the end. Your peace will be renewed. You will continue to grow in me. Others will see. Those around you will see more of me. Amen. It's not just affecting you. Child, this is just not only for you. Uh, to understand what you do affect others. Oh, my lamb, hear me. I love you. I'm longing for more of you. I still have so much for, uh, for you, my love. Come on to me. Let go of what I speak of. I love you so. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Lord, I lift up your people to Lord God. We all, Lord God, want to release all of this world to you, Lord God. There's not one of us, Lord God, that's uh, not holding on in an area to uh, of this world, Lord God, whether it be fear or, uh, you know, our dollars, whatever it might be, Lord God, we, we all struggle in this area. And yet, Lord, you're calling some uh, back, Lord God. Uh, it's important, Lord God, that these children come back to you and let go of whatever it is you're speaking into their spirit today, Lord God. And these children know, Lord God, uh, it's not for us to know, Lord God. It's not for me to know. But your spirit moves across the miles and it moves across the countries and reveals certain things to your children, Lord God. So, Lord, I, I pray that your children would be obedient, Lord God that you would open their eyes, Lord God, that, Lord, you would draw them back to the place that you would will them to be, Lord God, that they would release all that they need to release, Lord God, to you, Lord God, this day, Lord God, that you would renew their spirit, Lord God, that you would uh, take them on high, Lord God, and bless them, Lord God. If they need to repent, Lord God, then, Lord, have them go down on their knees and repent in release. I think that's the Lord. Repent and release. Thank you, Lord. Repent and release. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That means uh, uh, that means something very important uh, to some of you today. Repent and release. That's a word of knowledge, and and you know that your Holy Spirit knows that, and the Lord knows that repent and release. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for that, Lord God. 
Lord God, we all need to repent and learn to release, Lord God, whatever it is we're holding on to. But those in particular that you're speaking to directly today, Lord God, I have them repent and then release, not to pick it up again, Lord God. It's keeping them from you, Lord God. So have your way, Lord God. Have your way in their life today, Lord God. This is a powerful word for some, Lord God. Repent and release. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, cover your children all in the blood today. All that are here praying, Lord God. Blessings be upon them, Lord God. Uh, Lord God, save their unsaved loved ones. Keep them safe, Lord God, wherever they go this day, Lord God. Send angels round about them. Heal them in their body, Lord God. Heal their minds, Lord God. Renew their spirits, Lord God. Watch over their loved ones. Draw those unsaved loved ones by your spirit, Lord God. Keep their children safe, Lord God, from the, from the attacks of the enemy in these last days. Body, mind, and spirit, Lord God. Have your way in our life today thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven this day in Jesus name in Jesus name so God bless you today God be with you today thank you for subscribing thank you for sharing leave your comments you know you don't have to share everything I know that this was uh a very direct word uh for within some today and um, not all of us are going to need to know the, you know, the, uh, uh, the reason, the solution that's between you and the Holy Spirit. But I know uh, repent and release. I know that's the Lord. Amen. So we all have to release the things of this world uh, sometimes day after day. Amen. But there's a call for you today so that you might be renewed. Amen. Renewed in the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thank you for subscribing. God be with you today and keep you safe. God bless. Thank you.